Um, that was the Virgos. Now we're going to be looking at the Capricorn, but I love your readings. I, you know, a lot of people asking me to do a reading about Wendy and her husband, and I really truly love Wendy. I just could not understand that Wendy has gone through that. And you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, if I was her girlfriend, hell no, he will be out of there a long time ago. No, girl, trust me. Uh-uh, girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just so love Wendy's. And I gave her like two minutes silence. I'm going to go back and give her two minutes silence on Friday because I just think that it's just so disrespectful what has ha happened to her. So disrespectful. It's just not, yeah, it's unbelievable. Oh. You guys have to get this. It's naked something, but it's good. It's like the green drink. Mm. Anyway, guys, thank you. I am going to be doing the um, Capricorn. I'm going to do the Capricorn. Love reading for March to see what is coming up for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. So all the cap is in the house. Give her ends. We're going to see what's coming up for the cap. Become sun, moon, and rising sun. What's happening for the cap is in love for the month of March. We're going to be looking at the Capricorn um, in love for the month of March. Cap is, cap is, cap is. What's happening for the Capricorn? I don't know. Your earth signs are definitely getting a gift. Whatever is coming up for the Capricorns. And the Tauruses, because I saw this in in the general readings. When when it's uploaded, your guys are going to see the general readings. There was definitely a situation that the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns, they were going to, it was a good month for them in love. So that is in the general readings. I'm going to be um, uploading them. Um, so let's look at the second week for the Capricorns. So we're calling in Archangel Chanuel. Angels of love of light for the Capricorns. Mm. Young people are coming in again. The Bernard brown hair people for the Capis. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, for the Capis. Wow. Obstacles for the ladies, the young ladies. In the month of March, there is obstacles in love for the young ladies in the month of March. And freedom is the outcomes in the four weeks. So what we're looking at for the cap is in love is that definitely the universe is going to be blessing you with a relationship or someone um, coming in. But there is going to be some blockages. Now we're going to be looking at where the blockages are. And you know why there are blockages, which is going to come up in the first fourth week in love. And the outcomes is going to be in the fourth week that you need some freedom from a situation. It's as if you need to free yourself from a relationship, um, some freedom from um, a relationship. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with some control issues that you need to let go. So control is definitely coming up in this month. Oh, my, my, my. Okay. So you really, really need to get some um, uh, issues. But are Capricorn so controlling? Ooh, the businessmen are here. Bam, bam. So some of you professional people, business people, um, yeah, they could be very controlling. So if you're seeing like someone in business, someone in a powerful position, a CEO, and that sort of a thing, very, 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 very dating is coming up for the Capricorns. So the young ladies um, are going to be dating a lot. Um, you're going to be having, going out on a lot of dates. That is coming up for you, Cap is. And you're dealing with the ice queen. Some of you young ladies could be um, becoming the ice queen. And the ice queen is the person that they focus on work, work, work. They don't date. 
it's work, career, everything. They are closed off. Their heart is closed off. Some people think that I'm an ice queen. I'm not. I just have been burnt enough, so I close myself off. Um, so some of you Capricorns could be having that sort of an energy. And it's as if the men are looking at you, mm, nice, but she's so cold. I said some of the Capricorns could be having that sort of a thing, especially professional Capricorns. Oh, the Ice King is also here. So some of you Cappies could be going out with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Uh, date. Damn, damn, damn. Cappies, some of you could be going out with an Aries. No, but an um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, it can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this is definitely, and it depends on um, what kind of work they do, but this is someone like an doctor and that sort of a thing um law enforcement you could be having dates with these people lawyers lawyers you could be having dates with these people okay definitely okay um but most of you young professionals some people are going to be looking at you as if you are the ice queen okay friendship is here um, some of you um, professional people and these are people like between the ages of 45 and older you could be connecting with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra but it's just for friendship it's not a relationship they don't go in a relationship with this person you're not going to be happy okay past life for past life and the past life comes up for the Capricorns who are going to be dating the Aquarian Gemini or Libra. These are people who are coming back from past life. But you Capricorns need to be very, um, leave your controlling issues because it's as if you always want to be on the phone with this person. It's as if you're always expecting this person to call you and that sort of a thing. And um, if you're a young Capricorn, that's how you are when you're young. But when you're older, like, um, Forty is like, yeah. If he wants to call, he calls. I'm, I'm never. I'm not really interested whether or not he calls. Okay, and the outcomes is um the dark male. Okay, the outcomes is dark male. So, okay, the last was the dark male. So some of you, um. We're going to be receiving a gift of friendship you're going to go out on a date you're going to meet someone and it is going to be a gift of friendship okay it's going to be a gift of friendship so don't expect anything from this person um because it's just a gift of friendship so you know don't expect that this person is going to call you and said let's go out again or and no, it's, it's just a gift of friendship. There's not even sex. It's just cool. I don't have anything to do. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Um, there's going to be obstacles. There is definitely going to be obstacles um, for the people who are um, in a relationship with the Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. And there's going to be obstacles. And obstacles is going to be that whoever this person is especially when it comes on to dating um they don't have enough time or there is going to be obstacles there's going to be a lot of blockages it's it's like okay they promised this day but this day didn't happen and it's someone you know from a past life okay and this month is teaching Capricorns to be mature, more mature about, um, you need to be more mature and listen to your intuition about relationship. Okay. So the maturity comes up with, you know, if someone doesn't really call, let it go. You know, why are you forcing it? Um, it's, it's just going to be understanding that you need to love yourself and spend more time with yourself. Um, it's going to be more of listening to your intuition about a relationship, about someone. 
Um, because whatever you're feeling and not thinking, there's a difference with thinking and feeling. You could be feeling, um, maybe this guy just liked me um, just for that. You know, go with your own intuition. But don't think it and send it out in the universe if that's what you truly think. Like you feel it, uh, you know, this is someone who's nice to go out and have fr a friendship with, then okay, all right? Um, but the month is all about listening to your own intuition and be mature about relationship on a whole, okay? So as we... Um, transit and look at what is transpiring um, especially in the first week some of you are going to be very controlling um, some of you are going to be meeting someone but then you're going to be very controlling and that's going to kill the relationship okay that's going to kill the relationship so um, you could be gifted a wonderful relationship um, like someone just unexpected to come in your life the first week or end of February coming in to March and you are so controlling that you push this person away okay yeah because um, yeah three of ones this you're gonna yeah push this person away and that's it a lot of people are not aware of um, you know once you're so controlling, you're on the phone, you want to be with this person. Sometimes people need, you know, they meet you. Um, they want to feel as if I want to, I want to miss, I want to miss you. I don't want to just, um, um, that, you know, I'm seeing you 24 hours or, you know, that sort of a thing. So it's as if this person is going to feel as if you're crowding me too much. And they feel as if you're choking them and they're going to be releasing you because obviously because you're so uh, and you want to hear from them and you want to text them. And this one is going to teach you that let things flow, give people time, let things flow. Don't expect that if someone don't call you, there is something that is definitely happening. Okay. Um, People have to deal with their own issues and their own lives, okay? So let's look at the gift that you are going to be received. Some people are going to be asked the ends in marriage, okay? This is beautiful. This is um, just absolutely beautiful, okay? Some of you are going to be meeting and receiving the gifts of the hands of marriage, okay? Um, um, some of you are going to be asked to um, to move in together with someone. Um, some of you might be asked to change um, a resident to live to to come and share your life with someone, which is good, very very positive. And what is going to be transpiring is that as you do that, marriage is going to be coming and play. Okay, so some of you in this month could be receiving the offer to get married and to live together and have a wonderful family. And this is very, very good for you, Capricorn. So whoever this is going to be happening to, I would say yes, um, because this is definitely a gift from the universe. Some of you wanted to get married and someone is going to be offering you this, okay? For a more personalized, in-depth reading, um, you can always ask for a love reading, a monthly love reading, or just a general love reading for yourself to know, um, who, but definitely marriage is in marriage. Um, it's either they're going to be asking you to marry in the first week, or, um, they're going to be asking you to move in, uh, move in together in the first week. And this is going to be good. Now, the energy that is playing this control issue, because the Virgos had this control issue, the Pisces has this control issues, it has to do with you need to balance out situations 
balance, okay? Because sometimes you meet someone and you expect them to call the next day, but maybe something happened to them why they couldn't call the next day. Or, you know, maybe you haven't heard anything. Maybe they went home and something happened and, you know, life just goes on. And then they decide to call you. But um, because of some of you being sort of control, um, you, you need to learn um, temperance and balance. You need to learn temperance and balance in a relationship. Whatever the situation is, is that some of you, um, because you need to be um, um, accompanied with, with someone. Some people can't just get off the phone and find the silence and connect with themselves. No, they constantly, constantly need to be on the phone. And because of this, you're going to be pushing away people that comes in your life. Okay. Because you are eating up their energies. Okay. That is what you're doing. You're definitely just eating up their energies. And because you're so focused and so eating up their energies, you're pushing this person away. So sometimes, you know, if people don't pick up your calls or that sort of a thing is because you're, you know, and, and, and this is, this is, really in a love relationship. It could be someone who you met, someone who is, and, uh, um, you know, you expect that this person to call you, text you every day. And the person is so busy and their life is so busy. They can't do that. And, um, because you're so, it's a form of controlling because you can't be alone with yourself. So you expect this attention from outside and it's going to ruin whatever, if anything good comes in your life, it ruins it because people are going to see that you're very clammy. You want to be, oh, time you know you need to have communication and they're like hey um yeah i got to i gotta do i got my life too you know that is going to be happening now the businessmen some of you could be connecting with a business man or someone a professional person someone who wears a suit a ceo or that sort of a thing and because of the control issue, you're going to be turning them away, okay? Because this is person is a free spirit person. This person, um, uh, you know, they they need to go to business meeting. They need to see. Um, they have all these business meeting, this sort of a thing, and you expect them to be there and text in and everything and. Because of that, you turn them off. And they are now looking um, for something new, okay? So be aware um, of what's happening in the first week. It could be you guys that um, because of um, control issues um, that you push away someone, okay? Some of you could meet a businessman, but then you went to... Um, um, a meeting or mm, something like, a, let's say he invited you out to a get, a get together and you realize that his eyes is all over the place. You know, he's with you, but he's looking at someone else. Girl, go home. <laughs> go home. Okay. So this is a situation where, you know, you met someone, they invited you to a um, you know, a business, um, a gathering or something like that. And their highs are all over and uh, everybody else. And, uh, you know, and let it go, go home, girlfriend, mm -mm. go home. If you get in this relationship is all is, is eyes are always going to be wandering. Listen, never take a wandering eye man in your life because your life is going to be misery okay because if a man is going to decide to be in a relationship with you and everywhere he goes his eyes is on other women let him stay there wander leave him alone that's men that never had anyone because everyone realized that his eyes wander okay no matter how hot and passionate the sex is girlfriend as you're in the house he's on you but as you're out the house his eyes is on someone else let it be girlfriend you don't need that shit in your life okay and it's always going to be like that i swear to god there are the men that are, do not have wandering eyes okay some of you capricorn men you know 
um, what you're looking for. Um, you're going to be meeting someone. Um, it's going to be enticing. You're going to meet the girlfriend and then you're going to choose for the girlfriend. That's not really nice. Okay. Right. The burn it. Young women. Mm -mm -mm. There is the young women and what is going to be happening to you young ladies is that there's a lot of offer, a lot of people that is going to be coming at you. It is going to be a month where um, whatever, especially you single young ladies, um, you're going to be having a lot of suitors, a lot of suitors, whatever is happening. You singly young lady is going to be having a lot of suitors. You're going to know how to rock everything in this month of March. Okay. It's as if you find out the secret of dating and you are going to be using that to the best of your ability. Really, really, really you Capricorns, you're going to be finding out the secret. You young ladies, you Cap young Capricorns is going to be finding out the secret of dating. You are going to be pulling in these men. Okay. So that is good. That is really positive. Now, the dating scene comes up and the dating scenes, some of you are going to be very victorious in the dating scenes. Um, some of you very victorious in the dating scene. It's going to be good for um, a lot of you because some of you could be finding your next husband or some of you could be finding someone that has that. One.